Hey everybody and welcome back to It's Only Food with Chef John Polite. Today we are going to be showing you how to make cream tuna. Cue the music. Well, hey, thanks for joining us today. If this is your first time watching, please do me a favor, head down to the corner, hit that subscribe button, and then hit that notification bell to be notified each and every time I upload new content. All right, this is a video where I'm gonna show you how to make a cream tuna. Here's how it all came together. Friday, I worked a long day, and we were getting up to six to eight inches of snow. My wife texted, said she, she bought some stuff for dinner that we could eat over the weekend. Uh, Okay, I figured, okay, great, we're all huddled in, we got the food we need, and then we're going to just kind of cruise through the weekend, not have to really do a whole lot, just watch movies and goof up. And then I'm like, oh crap, i got to do a show. So I want to make a show, so I kind of rooted around in our cupboards and our freezer and our fridge, came up with this wonderful recipe for creamed tuna that we're going to throw on some puff pastry. So let's head in here to our kitchen and see what we got for our ingredients. We got some butter, flour, some peppers, mushroom, an onion, a lemon, peas, milk, Worcestershire sauce, one five ounce can of tuna, and then the aforementioned puff pastry shells. Now all these ingredients will be down in the description box so you can make this at home yourself along with their measurements so you know exactly how much to add. But with that, let's get into the kitchen and start prepping up our dish. I'm just gonna basically cut all of these up so we can throw them in the butter to saute. Pepper. There we go. We got our onions, our mushrooms, and our peppers all cut up, ready to go. Let's head over to our frying pan. Actually, the first thing I want to do is I want to get these little pot pie puff pastry thingies I want to get them into the oven so I placed them on a pan and I'm just going to put them into the oven at 425 which I've already preheated and we're going to do that for about 20 minutes so while those are cooking we will go ahead and start sauteing our vegetables. All right I've got my as you can see here I've got the butter melting in the pan and next to the pan I do have my mise en place all ready to go everything I need is at my fingertips I've even got my trusty spoon ready to go so I'm going to zoom back in on that butter and we're gonna start sauteing our ingredients. Like I said, the ingredients list will be in the description box with the measurements. So we're just gonna let that go and saute. All right, this is sauteing nicely. Onions are translucent, mushrooms are getting softer, picking up that flavor, and the peppers are starting to get a little more flexible, if that's a word. I'm just going to add some salt and pepper to this. We don't need to get into some elaborate seasonings for this. I mean, dill would be nice. And maybe some Old Bay um, paprika, maybe. But we're going to be adding the Worcestershire and the lemon to it to give it the umami and also the zest that you will need. I'm going to let this go just a little bit longer. Get those onions where we want them to be. And then we'll start thickening this up. All right, this is cooking really nice. Onions are soft enough to where we can add our flour into this. Now we're doing is dusting this in here and mixing it up to form a roux. And we're using the Singer method of adding the flour to the fat. Instead of adding the fat and the flour together and then introducing it into the ingredients, we're just making it right in the pan. So I am just going to let this cook, this roux cook for a little bit. And then we'll add our milk to it. We got 12 minutes left on that puff pastry. About two cups of milk in there. We'll see if that'll be good enough. If not, we can fix it. I'm gonna switch out to a whip now. 
so we can make sure that the roux is broken up in there nicely. I'll just let it get some bubbles going here first before I do anything. Okay, this is coming out nice. It's thickening up. You can see it thickening up. Now I'm going to go ahead and add our tuna, water and all, right in there. It was a little thick, so adding that little bit of water in isn't going to hurt. And I'm also going to add a little bit of water to get everything out of the can. And not only will that help thin it out, but it will also add flavor as well. Mix it all in so it's spread throughout. Hit it with a little bit of the Worcestershire sauce. About a half a tablespoon. The lemon in there. Juice of half a lemon. Still kind of thick, which is a good thing, but this is too thick for what our purposes are. So I'm just going to add and about another half a cup of milk to it. A little salt and pepper again. And I'm going to add the peas in there as well because essentially this is done. We just need to adjust the, the uh, consistency of it. So about a cup of peas in there. They too will impart a little bit of liquid when they thaw in. So but that's looking like it should. It looks like a tuna a la king. That might be the name I give it instead of cream tuna. But this looks pretty good. It does smell good too. I'm just going to hit it with just a little bit more milk. And then we're just going to leave it alone. Turn it down. Let those peas thaw out a little bit. Check on our puff pastry. They're coming up nicely. I'm going to clean up, whoop, put this back over here so you guys can enjoy it. I am going to clean up this mess a little bit and then we'll plate up. All right, we've got our puff pastry down over here. It's nice and, and flaky. Uh, it is done because it's got the right color to it. I have our creamed tuna here. I did taste it and adjust the seasonings. I added just a little more Worcestershire to it and some salt and pepper. Now it's perfectly done. So now we're going to plate it up. We're going to take some awesome photos of it for social media. Lay those photos into the timeline with some really groovy music and then we're going to come back and we're going to taste it. So enjoy the music and enjoy those pictures. fantastic looks gorgeous very flaky didn't cost a cent because I grabbed everything that was already in the house didn't have to go to the store and I got a show out of it so it's really cool and we got dinner right honey so we got dinner and I'm not gonna eat all this I'm gonna eat like one of them and then give two to my wife on a different plate because I've got another one over here yet but uh, tuna cream tuna on puff pastry or you could call it tuna a la king i'm not sure what i'm going to call it yet for the video because titles and metadata and all that matter but this is for all sakes and purposes cream tuna <laughs> so let's get on with the taste here anyway keep me from babbling all right very tender you see that bottom of this guy no bottom's fine just a bad fork all right i got a little bit of everything on here mushroom the sauce, the peas, tuna, it's still very hot. Mm. Mm -hmm. Very good texture. The flavor hits you right away, you know it's tuna. 
uh, you hit that the next thing I get is that that very tender very crispy um, puff pastry it's got that very almost donut like texture to it and then the mushrooms and the peas get a little bit of crunch the sauce is rich it has a lot of flavor in there as well we didn't add any base to it the lemon and the Worcestershire did a good job of getting it um, to where it was supposed to be flavor wise uh, also the sautéing of it brought out a lot of flavors from the mirepoix that we threw in there of the onions, the mushroom, and the peppers. One more bite and we'll say goodbye. It's really nice. Really nice to have on a cold winter evening. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Hit that thumbs up button and then share this with everybody you know. Also down in the description box, like I said, we'll have the measurements for the um, all the recipe and the ingredients down there. And then also check out all the groovy things that I've got going on in that description box. One of the th ones you'll see is that I now have a podcast too. So do me a favor, go check that out and, su and subscribe to that as well. Thank you for watching again. Take care of yourselves. And we will see you next time right here on It's Only Food with Chef John Polite. Bye-bye.